Alright, welcome back guys to another video. Now I've got back into the schedule of releasing two videos a day once again. Which is kind of crazy. But I want to do a few things. So I want to put some of these points a little bit more kind of like. That's gonna help us with one thing. That's gonna help us with um That's gonna help us with uh what's it called? Let's head out because I think we're done here. We last video we got a hip, we got a Thestral and Hippogriff offspring, which was so cute. Um, which I was like, wow. So you guys can see I'm really impressed um, by the crazy stuff that this game's been doing. I'm being honest, I've just been having so much fun playing this game. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be recording another video today. I think this might be the last video for today at least. Um, tomorrow we're gonna have some more crazy stuff going on. I don't know what it's gonna be about, but we have to talk to Poppy. We have to talk to Natty. But before we talk to them, we have to go talk to um, we have to go talk to Sebastian because apparently he has something to do in a mine. So we're gonna have to go talk to Seb. Now Sebastian is going is growing hungry for power. From what I've been seeing, he's be kind of becoming a dark wizard. Um, he's doing things for it, but he's doing it for his sister, but he's doing dark magic, which is not exactly In my honest opinion, it's not exactly the best idea. So Let's go talk to him. Let's see what he's been up to what he's been doing Honestly, I feel he shouldn't be doing this You know, he's I mean, We only use dark magic when we need to. I mean, on bad guys, they haven't been using it on anyone good on People who are trying to, you know, rid the world of Anyway, quests, uh, And then we can do Natty and, um, what's it called? Natty and, uh, Poppy's quests. Big point there. Yeah, I don't know. We've already been there, apparently. So. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm right. most pleased to be included. 
We have to go talk to Seth, so... Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Shane Bardolph. I thought my owl might pique your interest. Tell me, Sebastian, what are we doing here? I came as soon as I could. I'd been so preoccupied by all that happened with Ominous and the catacomb, not to mention my uncle's reaction, that I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea. But perhaps they're searching it, the way they did Brookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? We need to see what they're doing, but let's not draw their attention. Very well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. After you. There they are, up ahead. I'll let you lead. We must remain unseen. What am I doing here? This patrol is breath. Revelio. We might have to update Revelio a little bit. No one enters this. Kill anyone who tries. Ranrock's loyalists are out for blood. What's going on out there? Who's there? Who is it? What's that? Who's there? Tell me yourself. If if you're there. Loyalists deserve the same fate. Nice hey. work. Rebellion. This is going well. We make a good team. We do at that. Quietly now. 
Once again, we could fight our way through, or be discreet. You know which one I'd choose? Revenue. Bring me a dozen humans to battle. I'll take them all. Run the other way when they see me. Who's there? Who's there? is a relative term. <laughs> it is. Rebellion. And that was relatively fun. I should tell you. Rumor is this mine was closed long ago due to an infestation Rebellion. of spiders. How nice. Nothing I haven't seen before. That's the spirit. <sighs> We're making quick progress. Let's go back, Sam. Let's go back. I'm off our way, spiders every single time in this game. Looks like we have quite a few spider fights ahead of us. Probably why we're getting so many vegan about potions. If I'm being honest. But definitely I don't like spiders. One thing they they scare me to a state. Time or other. For better or for worse, we're in. Hmm. Someone there. This mine looks like a tomb. It was closed after accidents were reported. Revelio. Now I see why. really stupid if I'm being honest I don't know from how the hell I just randomly fell there See any goblins in these webs? Too disgusting for even a spider to prey on. Oh, great. Uh, I'm a grapple, you Run 
Xerox loyalists are in here? <sighs> Too many. They definitely think there's something here they want. Rebellion! That ledge is awfully high. Any ideas? Yes. Akio! Wingardium Leviosa! Leviosa! It's no wonder spiders give people goosebumps. Could be the hairy legs, or the solar size, or the venomous fangs, or any number of endearing things. Smashing. Should have thought to conjure stairs. Rebellion. There is a chest over there, but I'm just. Yeah, yeah, I'm not getting it. I'm sorry. Repair all. Read the world of another spider. I shall sleep better tonight. I feel kind of sad to this too. That we take so many individual potions, I feel that something sus is about to happen. Well, we're making quick work of them. Professor Hecate would be proud. She would at that. Ranrock's loyalists have all but declared war. Oh, still stairs. Uh, wait, Luma. Luma. I'll be quieter than a jobber knob. Oh, the spiders, I Still not seen a single rune symbol. I think we're going to be a bit distracted from runes for a moment. An unwelcome distraction at that. We have another fight on our hands. Why am I not surprised? We must remain. One of the best meals I've ever eaten. Oh, my God. 
yet. Bombarder. Arrest the man. cleared the room. You're not a bad chap for a Slytherin. You Gryffindors don't have a monopoly on bravery, you know. Uh, I love I love that because I'm a Gryffindor. You know? That is awesome. Although I'm not wearing Gryffindor colors, I feel kind of sad. Revelio. Have a look around in peace. One, two. Where's the third one? A rune symbol above the cavern door. Ranrock's loyalists never knew to look for it. I find two. Okay, three's up there. Confringo! That. Rebellion. Sebastian, I think I found something. A canvas piece. Brilliant. Our efforts well, weren't in vain after all. Still, something about this place feels odd. But then everything started to turn. When I fell, I must have hit my head. I'd rather feel nor see a mark, but the pain is throbbing. I can only hope it's not the black death. At least he is no longer in pain. What do you have there? A journal entry by Isadora. Hopefully it will help us unravel more of this mystery. If the triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas, we can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft, and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols? And ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. Here's are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. Well, this is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. Okay. This place is odd, to be sure. But I'm fascinated by it. Now, for the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. Unless we can find another passageway to the Undercroft. Let's have a look around. Revelio! Is that like Great, that was an interesting mission. So it looks like me and Sebastian will be doing stuff on his door right now. He seems to be okay right now, but I feel that he is getting too much into figuring out what Anne wants. Listen, that I feel kind of not good that he's doing all of this stuff. I feel that he shouldn't be doing it, but then again, it's Sebastian. You can't really stop the guy, can you? So, we also have the third trial to do very soon. 
we have to finish the third trial. We have a lot of stuff to do, so. Yeah, we have two more trials left. And now for the moments of truth. It has to fit. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mara and Weem has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? A friendly goblin. He wants no part in Ranrock's fight. A friendly goblin? You know goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins are... Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? Oh, come on, Seb. You don't know what you're saying. Take a breath for a moment. Oh, I know precisely what I'm saying. Oh, come on, Seb. Don't be like that, Bo. Unbelievable. I hope Professor Fitzgerald has confirmed what she needed to. I have to complete the next trial as soon as I can. Come on. There we go. It's so annoying to get all these things sometimes. I have to keep this in store for us what we can use it for so legendary chests are always interesting but they always hold some really interesting I definitely need to start doing some edits. I think it's gonna help make the videos go a bit faster and make it a lot easier than me going around and not knowing how to do something, so.
like that. That's cool. That's definitely nice. I'm gonna keep that for a while. Okay, so there's a smooth spot right here. It means we can straight go inside. Okay, I did not know that. I have to, I have to think about that next time. So we can just go inside the room of requirement because there's flu powder there. Okay, I have to remember that for next time. So let's go talk to Nati. Speak to Nati as such a nation. We're wearing a more, um, you know, classroom worthy, more Hogwarts worthy. Absent. But like, we have to look kind of the best here. I mean, I might switch it up from time to time, like I said. So I think this will be a nice first thing to switch it up. It will look kind of cool. So. I'll be We have the Gryffindor crest, I think, on the side as well. Right? I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobster. So frustrating! Accio! Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. You wanted to speak with me, Mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, Mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But Mother! My little gazelle, you are well-intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matabilaland, Father would still be with us. <sighs> I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. So frustrating. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts, so I am Ooh. gently discouraged from practicing it. Is. However, I am an Animagus. And it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the highlands rather freely until now. Much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Were you born an Animagus? Or did you learn to become one? Animagi are not born. The process is quite elaborate. It involves holding a mandrake leaf in one's mouth for an entire month then placing the leaf in a crystal file so that it is imbued with moonlight, then adding one of your own hairs. And that is just the beginning. Self-transfiguration is common among students at Wagadu. 
but Professor Weasley considers it much too dangerous to teach at Hogwarts. How does it feel to transform into an animal? Well, the first time, it can be a bit unnerving. I felt a kind of searing pain and a strong double heartbeat. But it gets easier the more you do it. I no longer feel any pain, and I must say, I find a sense of comfort in the double heartbeat. And I love being able to view the world from a different perspective. Can you choose what form your animagus will take? Oh, no. A person's animagus form is determined by their personality. Oh. Well, my yeah, mother is convinced that my form is a gazelle because I adapt well to any situation. I believe it is because I can sense danger and keep my wits about me. Yep. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming, but mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. <sighs> she claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. She's concerned for your safety. It may be best for you to stay away from Hogsmeade for now. That may be safe, but I do not believe that it would be best. Do you? You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you, but you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <sighs> My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. No problem. Right. I guess we have, we still have a little bit of time. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Well, I hope they add flu powder in Hogwarts and uh, in Jedi Survivor. Jedi Survivor because there is no, the one thing that annoyed me about um, Jedi Fallen Order was the fact that there was no fast travel points. That really made me angry. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. <laughs> Revelio. Alohomora. I need to find out where the hell 
Sylvia is. all her gobstones pretty much Oh, he's gonna take the book. I don't know why it takes so long just to like load. It takes literally like a minute from what I've seen. A minute or two at best. Right, so this is the library. We want to leave. I've this. always said that travel broadens the Anyways, I think that's gonna be it guys for today's video. I don't wanna go around uh, see what all this fuss is about. This one was a kind of a uh, Um, kind of rage. So if you do Poppy's quest, then we can go talk to, uh, what's her name? Um, Professor Neem um, Fitzgerald about, uh, what it is of what our location of the third trial is. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.